It's considered the holy grail of solar, a system that can produce power even after dark. In Newcastle, the CSIRO is building Australia's biggest solar thermal plant that will be able to do just that. While largely government funded, private companies are now lining up to get in on the action, especially with predictions that solar will be able to produce a quarter of Australia's energy needs. Michael Troy reports. Increased investment into solar research reflects a growing confidence by business. These panels are called heliostats um, and they all focus on one point up on the tower that you see behind me and create, depending on which experiment we are running, between 600 and 1,500 degrees Celsius. Dr Alex Wanhas is the director of a CSIRO project called Energy Transformed Flagship and believes the renewable energy sector is on the cusp of some big breakthroughs. We believe it's going to be a, a massive opportunity for Australia. Um, we have done some projections of the energy sector uh, out into the future in Australia and believe the potential for solar uh, power in Australia is about 25% of our total energy mix. If you translate that into dollars, that could be a $10 billion a year industry. This solar thermal plant has been going for four years but now a much bigger, more sophisticated one is being built close by. The new solar field that we are constructing uh, is bigger. It's actually going to be the biggest solar Brighton field uh, in the world. So there's going to be 60 heliostats in this field and they'll all shine up to a tower which will just be over here. We've got good sun conditions, we've got good researchers and potentially good market opportunity as well. The potential for this technology is huge. I mean the idea that one of the the challenges with solar electricity is how do you provide power after dark and these technologies allow you to store that energy in a, in, a, in a thermal mass whether it be molten salt or the like and then generate the electricity into the night. The Australian Solar Institute is a 100 million dollar commitment by the federal government to get renewable energy projects like this off the ground by leveraging Commonwealth funds to attract private investment. So far in the last year $44 million has been awarded to 13 projects, which in turn have attracted $88 million of private funding. The market has suddenly increased its amount of investment in the projects here, but before it will invest more funds, it needs to know that the technology works. One way of making renewables work better is to use more than one type. The CSIRO now has a working model of an integrated renewable energy coordination system which switches between solar, wind, gas turbines and battery backup. But a lack of certainty over government policy on a carbon price is still holding back investment. You can achieve scientific breakthroughs, technological breakthroughs, but you're not going to see those breakthroughs make their way to market without, uh, without investment. Paul Fox is from a seed stage investment company in clean energy based in San Francisco and says companies are positioning themselves to develop the technology to the next stage and there is a feeling governments will soon act on a carbon price. There's definitely a change in, in the, the, the population's perspective of climate change and the need to change the energy mix and in, to, to a great extent politicians do seem to be reacting to that. The CSIRO's new experimental solar thermal power plant is expected to be operational mid-next year.